Hey guys, um, I want to do a kind of a different video today. You know, I do a lot of video logging, and uh, um, and I do like my morning updates, and we do our shenanigans at cons and stuff. But I kind of want to do more of an informational video today. Um, a few, you know, probably most of you have come to this YouTube channel to uh, because of my cosplay page on Facebook or Tumblr or wherever. And so you're pretty familiar with at least like my costumes in general, but um, but I know a lot of people don't know what cosplay is, and so that's what this video, what I aim this, for this video to be about. So with that said, um, what is cosplay? <laughs> and um, essentially, the most basic definition of cosplay is fun. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, the the basic definition is dressing up in costumes and uh, often going to conventions and uh, wearing these costumes to conventions, essentially. Um, so it's short for costume play, and uh, that's, that's the idea. So uh, my husband describes it as adults dressing up as cartoon characters and running around. <laughs> but, um, and he's not wrong. <laughs> but yeah, that's essentially what it is, and uh, there's a lot that gets asked about that. Um, one of the things that's often brought up is like, it's not cosplay if, and it's like, uh, anytime I start to hear that, like that's when um, you start to question the source. Because, I mean, this is an open world. We're all unique people. We don't have to, we, we put labels on things so we can relate to others. But um, when, anytime you start adding restrictions to things, that's when things get uh, weird or judgmental, I guess. So um, one thing I get asked a lot is, you know, oh, I would cosplay, but I don't know how to sell or something. And it's like, that doesn't matter. Um, you don't have to make your own costumes. It's a question I get a lot. Um, is it cosplay if you don't make your own costumes? Some people prefer to make their own costumes, and that's great. Um, I prefer to do so, um, but I wasn't always that way. When Abby first introduced me to cosplay, I commissioned her to make me a costume. And then the next couple costumes that I wore, I put together just from store-bought means. Or I had her make for me um, pieces of them and stuff. So, so no, you don't have to make your own um, costumes for cosplay. So yeah, you can, uh, you can commission someone else to make your costume. You can uh, put it together piecemeal, store-bought items. Um, you can do all kinds of things like that. For me, personally, I've gotten to the point where I like the sewing aspect of things, and I also have gotten into latex, which is actually, which is actually gluing and not sewing. But outside of those things, I don't really want to like specialize in prop making and doing all these other things. Um, I know Abby likes to kind of make everything of her costumes for the most part, and I'm just like, no, I want to specialize. I want to do the things that I enjoy of the process and uh, keep it to that. Uh, for me, the joy of cosplay is twofold and it's not unlike, I compare it to software development because that's what I do for a living. Um, it's the creation aspect, so there's the creative um, being able to create something and then there's the showing off aspect and being able to wear it and say and show it off and be like, hey, I made this and kind of feel a sense of pride from it. Um, on top of that, cosplay often is, doesn't have to be, um, kind of getting in character. So um, when I'm at a con, you know, if I'm taking photos, getting photos taken and stuff, I'll try to be in character or um, I like throwing out like certain phrases and, and uh, stuff out there like with an attitude or stuff if it's in character with my character, that kind of thing. Uh, it's funny, like I've done like Black Widow and some other ones that don't smile very often and I don't feel as home as at home with them because uh, versus like uh, Supergirl which is kind of more smiley in general. So. Another thing I get asked is um, if I make money from cosplay. Um, some of the TV shows that are out there um, talk about or kind of give the idea that cosplay is all about money and being famous and all this kind of stuff. And uh, in, in general, I don't make really a whole lot of money from cosplay. Yes, I sell prints on my print store. Um, I, to tell you the truth, I don't make a lot of sales from that. 
and not and the sales I do make is a very low profit margin um, I enjoy signing and mailing these things out to fans who really want them and so that's that's why I have a print store it's for you guys the fans um, as far as the money I get back from that a little bit of money I get back you can go right into my cosplay budget hey that's great but in general, I'm never going to make a living off of doing that. Even at cons, like, same thing with the cons. Like, we're pre-printing prints and bringing them to cons and, and having a booth. And, uh, and we enjoy interacting with fans and selling fans prints and signing them right there and all of that. But not making a whole lot of money out of that. Um, if we were, um, there are cons we could go to that we could buy a booth. And we would never make up the cost of that booth. <laughs> Um, by selling prints. Um, so in general, we, we tend to actually only have a booth when the con gives us one. And usually we're, we're doing a panel for them or we're, uh, and or we're judging a con costume contest or that kind of thing. As far as selling costumes, uh, some do that. Some people do that. Um, I myself don't, f not only do I not feel like I'm at the skill level for that yet, uh, like it's one thing to make costumes for yourself where you constantly can try it on and like take it in and like to your me make it work for your measurements but it's a whole nother thing to uh, do it for someone else's measurements and then you might have one or two meetups where they can try it on and be able to like uh, fit it to them better spandex is a little forgiving so that's you know maybe a little easier um, but yeah in general I, that's I'm not quite there with the actually selling costumes and frankly on the other side of that is I don't have a lot of time I mean this is my free time I have my list of costumes that I want to do for me it's my fun I don't I'm not in the business of making money from cosplay like I'm here to have fun and uh, and so any time taken away from that fun factor is going to make this feel like work I already have a job and it's not cosplay so I don't want to turn cosplay into a job and the final point I wanted to make about uh, making money from cosplay is taking selfies. I don't know why I wrote taking selfies down. I think I was going to make a joke about that I don't make money from taking selfies. <laughs> but if I did, if I had a dollar for every selfie I took, I'd be doing pretty well, I think. Just saying. Another common misconception that some of the TV shows and Hollywood tends to do about uh, makes cosplay seem like is is they make it seem like it's all about competing. It's all about competition, it's all about the contest. And while competing is okay, like don't get me wrong, that's like I said, whatever floats your boat, whatever you wanna do, that's great. But um, my personal take on competing is anytime you say my costume is better than yours, missing the point of cosplay, like I said, the, the main point is have fun. And so, so that's why I don't like competing. Um, I like showing my costume off, wearing it to cons, uh, wearing it to events. But in general, I've, I've competed in a couple costume contests and they were more like, hey, show this off, kind of, hey, I get to walk the runway kind of thing. And after spending hours like in the back room waiting to, for my one little uh, time in the spotlight, I've. I just have started to just not want to do them at all. Um, they're almost more, they're more hassle than they're worth in my opinion. But like I said, if you want to compete, that's totally fine. Um, I just feel like that in the TV shows, because of the drama, they tend to highlight that. And uh, they also make it seem like you can win a ton of money from, from competing. And while it's true, some cons do hand out cash I feel like most don't like you get like little prizes and stuff for being and then you know you can say hey I'm, I was first place in this contest or whatever but in general that's not what cosplay is all about so then what about cos fame <laughs> again we go into the TV show stuff um, and then you know you have your likes on Facebook and oh my god this person has a million likes and that person has 500,000 that's just crazy and, and uh, while I appreciate that I have a lot of fans um, like the whole idea of being cause famous and making again making money off that is kind of out the window at this point I feel like back maybe ten years ago five ten years ago 
it was probably more viable. Like Yaya, Yaya Han has made a business out of it. If you notice, she has fabrics. She has, um, she sells other things in her store. Um, there are other cosplayers, like I said, that uh, sell costumes that they make for other people. Um, but I feel like the market has become so saturated with cosplayers now that it would be pretty hard to be cos famous and make a living out of it. I'm not saying it's impossible, but on some <laughs> on some level, it's again missing the point where cosplay is supposed to be fun. So um, if you're getting into cosplay because you want to be famous. I mean, maybe start looking at it in a different way, like, hey, this should be fun. Another question I get asked a lot on my page is, will you do this cosplay? Or will you do that cosplay? And uh, people ask me, like, you know, they want me to be their, their favorite character or whatever. Or maybe they want me to be some crazy sexy character or something. And I'm just like, all right. But, uh, you know, I have my list of cosplays that I want to do, and I'll take suggestions, that's totally fine. But um, the order in which I do them, and the ones that I pick, is kind of my prerogative at this point. Um, like I said, it's something I do for fun. Um, I appreciate that all of you um, like the costumes I make, but when it comes down to like it, said, I'll take suggestions. But I'm not promising anything upfront about when or what I do as far as what costumes I plan on um, making and wearing. So, And probably like a final note here is uh, I get asked a lot. So given, given this all this information about cosplay, I get asked a lot for someone who's starting cosplay. They want to join in the fun. Um, they're like, what should I cosplay? I have this feature and that feature, and brown hair and blue eyes or whatever. And they're like, what should I cosplay? And it's just like, you're missing the point if you're if you're trying to cosplay based on what you look like. In my opinion, the point of cosplay is fun and being happy and passionate about the characters that you're doing. So if you like Supergirl but you don't have blonde hair, so what? Get a wig. I mean, that's what these things are for. Um, half the fun is being the character. I mean, that's most of the fun, right? I mean, I enjoy making, but those who don't make are just going to wear and um, be the character. So it's, you know, if you like that video game character that just has some crazy costume, someone's out there that can make it, or you can figure out how yourself. Um, if you like a certain superhero from a movie or comics, do it. I mean, that's that's what cosplay is about. Don't try to, don't necessarily try to do, get into cosplay because of something, of, uh, because there's someone, they look like you or you can look like them better. Um, it's been suggested to me to do certain cosplays and like I said, I only want to do the ones I'm really excited about and passionate about and uh, that's what's important. So yeah, so that probably concludes this video. Um, Hope it was informational for you. If you have any other questions about cosplay, feel free to ask them on this video or message me on Facebook, um, all of that kind of stuff. 